go out there day one? It was good to get back on the field. You know, you always get those nerves. Uh, I think everybody kind of feels that too. Even Flacco, however long he's played, everyone kind of just feels that. You feel anxious to get out there on the field. And, uh, it's definitely fun to be back, though. Did you um, describe the, the Idaho trip and just yeah. kind of how, you know, how you put that together and what you got out of that? Yeah, really, it was us trying to find, you know, last year we did Miami. A lot of guys are from the area, had been there, trained there. Um, so I was trying to find something, you know, that they've never done before. So we. Uh, we found a, a spot, a little ranch, Gaza Ranch out in, uh, in northern Idaho. Uh, we flew almost, a lot of guys were like, we're going to Canada, you know, where are we, where are we going? But they had quite the trip out there, and uh, we had an awesome spot. It was, it was great for us. You know, we were, we were uh, golfing one day. We went boating the next day. Taught those guys kind of how to wake surf a little bit, and, um, you know, they, they set up a perfect field for us, you know, painted some NFL lines for us. We got to work on a lot of stuff, and more than anything, it's kind of like what I said back. Uh, when we were leaving OTAs, it was a good bonding moment for all of us. Just kind of sit by the fire at night and, and talk. And um, it was a really cool trip that we definitely had a blast together. Was Gretzky out there, or did you invite him? How did that? You know, so yeah, Gretz, Gretzky has a house there. So we were able to kind of, you know, hang out with him and, and spend time with him. My marketing agent represents Gretzky as well, so we kind of had that connection there. So um, he invited us to his place and had some sweet water slides that we all got to kind of go hang out in his backyard. So it was a good time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Zach, how did you, how did you kind of handle these last few weeks with all the, the social media stuff that you've had to deal with? Right, it's just focusing on football, and that's really all I can do is, uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I'm excited to be here with the boys and excited to be in Idaho with those guys at the time, too, and so I'm excited to, to just try and get better every single day. That's all I've been focusing on. Do you like CJ's t-shirt? <laughs> uh, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> is it tough for all those that? You can focus on football. This affects your family, affects people around you. Is it just tough kind of dealing with the ancillary stuff that comes with being? Uh, it, you know, it, comes, it comes with the position. So really, you know, it's just handling my business, handling what matters, and, um, you know, keeping my family tight. And, and, you know, we're all good. And so I'm excited to be here and, and really just focus on football. And, you know, I've never mentally felt like I was in a better spot than I am now. So I'm excited to be here. How excited are you with your, your group of weapons that you have? Yeah, extremely excited. You know, you can see these guys on day one, you know, jumping off the page. And so I'm, I'm excited uh, that we got to spend some time together in Idaho because you really got to see it there, too. And we had a good, a good amount of time bonding together as well. So, uh, you know, my job is just, I got to get the ball in, those, in their hands. You know, those guys are extremely talented, so I'm excited about them. What are your personal expectations for this season and what area do you think you might make the most growth? Right, really, it's just focusing one play at a time. I think kind of goes back to what, you know, pretty much everybody says. You know, how can I just keep improving? You know, today was day one, and there's still things I can go back and, and improve on that I got to do better. And so uh, how can I just keep improving? And then, you know, not, not stressing so much about the season coming up and the expectations and all that. It's how can I just keep improving day by day and, you know, trusting in the guys around me, get them the football, be consistent, you know, throw good balls, be smart, all the, all the things a quarterback needs to do, and, and I think that'll take care of itself. Well, I think really it's just, you know, you're relaxed. I think you have a better understanding of, of your job. You know, even when you make a mistake, it's I can correct myself now, I, I feel like, for the most part after. And I think uh, that's a, it's a good thing because, you know, you feel like you can just keep improving and getting better. But I feel like just the understanding of what I'm asked to do in this offense and um, my ability to um, just make quick decisions and get through, get through my reads is just going to keep improving. What did you it? It's in northern Idaho. We're up in Coeur d'Alene. What did you come in weight-wise as compared to last year? Yeah, so last year I was probably around like 205, 207. Got up to like 220, 221 in, in OTAs. And then the goal was I'm, I'm like right at 217, 218 right now, which is exactly what I was you know, wanting to be at. So, you know, trying to maintain that, eat healthy through this training camp, keep weight up, all that kind of stuff is the goal. What can you do to improve your completion percentage? I think it was 55.6 last year, obviously. You right. want to do better. Is it Improving mechanics? Is it improving progressions? What is it? Well, I think it's an understanding of the offense. You know, really, I don't think it's something mechanically that you know needs to be changed. I feel like I've always been able to throw the ball, and so it's really when you understand where to go with the ball and you have that confidence and the understanding within the offense, you know, you're able to be accurate because you're confident in where you're going with the ball. So um, I think that's one thing, and then also just finding completions, just telling yourself on every on every, on every single play, yes, make the best decision, but find a completion too. You know, maybe sometimes you might miss the one down the field, but as long as you're finding a completion, you're doing the right thing. When you talk about maintaining that weight, is that something where you need to stick to a, a strict diet to ensure that you're keeping that weight up so you don't 
dip back down into a social stuff? Yeah, so kind of like what I did in OTAs and, and part of this summer as well too is just I have a written plan of just meals and times I need to be eating certain things and all that and tracking weight and doing all that different stuff with our team and uh, you know really just making sure I stay on top of it. How do you feel that you've grown now that you have a year on your field? I mean, there's a lot of pressure for an NFL quarterback, period, but also one for New York NFL quarterback. Right. I mean, really, it's uh, it's been a it's been like a crazy year. It really like flies by. But I think kind of what I was saying earlier of just, you know, the understanding within the offense and what my job is and kind of the mindset you should have, you know, and then the repetition of plays. You know, I've repped a lot of these plays a lot now, and so you you kind of understand what they should look like and. Last year, I think a lot of the plays that we were running was my first time ever seeing that against an NFL defense and the NFL pass rush and things like that. So uh, I think the game just starts to slow down for you and you're able to just process a little bit smoother and a little bit more efficiently. You talked about how um, you're more comfortable on the field, but just in terms of leadership, your teammates have obviously shown a lot of support for you recently. How do you feel like different, I guess, than a year ago as a leader and, and more, are you more comfortable in that role moving into this year? Right, and I don't, I don't even know if I even think of it like, you know, I really need to take that leadership role. Is, it's, like, it's like I need to have that personal connection with guys, and I think that kind of just takes place. Uh, you know, they, they start to, to look up to you and ask you questions and, and, you know, try and lean on each other. You know, it's really like we're there for each other. That's really what you got to show. And so that's really what the Idaho trip was for. It was for us to spend time together, show them I care about them, and, and I want to know, and I want to get to know them and all the little, you know, details about their life. And then you know, they can trust me on the field and I'm going to try and do everything I can to get them the ball. And, you know, I think it all kind of uh, leans on each other there. Is the vocal part of that easier in year two? Like, you, you know, yeah, I mean, I really think it is because I know all these guys a lot better now. You know, it's harder just to, to walk into a locker room and, you know, start yelling at guys. And I'm not, I'm not doing that anyways. You know, I think coaches yell enough. And so players need to kind of be there to encourage each other and, and bring them up. And so it's easier when you really get to know them. You know, you can, you can start to say some stuff to them. But... Uh, really, I just hope I can I can kind of lift them up when when guys are down. Did you guys do any s'mores? Yeah, we did. Okay. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Garrett Garrett's the one who cracked them out. It's not good for me. <laughs> Zach, when, when people talk about the Jets and this season in particular, like it all really depends on what Zach Wilson does in year two. Is that something you're aware of? Is that something you embrace or something you even just kind of block out? Yeah, it's not true at all. It's not true at all. Of course not. I mean, that's why there's 22 guys that play. There's 11 guys on offense, 11 on defense. There's coaches that all have a hand. I mean, there's a game plan. And, you know, of course, could you say if I don't do my job, the offense isn't going to run? Of course, right? I touch the ball every play. So, but, you know, I got to do my 1 11th of my, my job and everything else takes care of itself. And that's all I got to focus on is, hey, what's my job on this play and how can I make sure I get that done? How many guys were in Idaho back in the um, I think we had three tight ends there, um, three, four receivers, four or five receivers there, three quarterbacks there. Yeah, good amount of guys. Solid number. Everybody good? Do you look to expand that next year? Like even more stuff? He's asking if you're going to invite the media next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the bottom of the list. But if we have enough spots, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys.